750 subs, time for another giveaway. This time we're doing a super basic dialogue system. You can see that we have a interaction only, displays a name, displays uh, some text, and then automatically it cycles through the text. This close button changes from next to uh, not. You can click through it should you wish. And then the more interesting thing is is the brush past where they'll say text without you interacting with them and there's some audio should you wish and the audio is also in the speaking as well this works on both characters and actors so we've got an actor just here so this is in 5.4 but we've also got the same implementation in 5.5 so how this works is we select the npc that we want we come down to our dialogue component we can add their name in and we add their dialogue we can add a greetings dialogue so a sound cue that we might want and a brush past dialogue so if we brush past them what they would say and what they would say as a voice line if you want to add voice lines when you interact with them, this is the dialogue that gets displayed. And the way this works is when you interact with an NPC, it calls the interact BPI. And then this creates a widget, specifically the dialogue widget, uh, checks if we're running any brush past event so that we can finish that and then opens the widget. The open widget is a global function just because we use it a lot. And in dialogue, we get the speaker's name that gets set inside the world. We check and play a random sound. So you can have more than one greeting on the same NPC and we get a random one each time just so it adds a little bit of flavor flavor. And then we create the dialogue and we move through the dialogue. So as we create it, we check if we are on the last entry of our dialogue and then we change the button to close and then we set the dialogue. If we're not on the last entry, then this button will say next. What happens after this is the widget, cha the widget changes to its next dialog and on a retriggable delay. So if you press next, it sets this trigger back to zero and starts to count again. And if you take five seconds, it just moves through each. So it's sort of auto scrolls. You can change this should you wish. And if it's at the end of the dialogue to display, set it back to zero and close the widget. If you press the button, then it stops the audio that's playing so that it doesn't carry on through the whole conversation. Again, if you remove this, it'll just carry on through the whole conversation. Then we check to see if we are at the end of our dialogue. And when you press the next button, it closes. If you're not at the end and press the next button, it creates the dialogue. Again, super simple. And it's designed really for those sort of old school world building games and lore dumping. So like in Spyro, you'd go into a world, there would be some character stylized that spits out a bunch of gobbledygook at you. There's no real option. You just listen to him and get some lore on the world. Or when you run up to a sign, then it'll tell you what town you're in or a billboard or sort of information dumping, really not so much a uh, quest or sort of next next level stuff branching decisions so super simple does what it's designed to do if you're going to brush past then there's a trigger box and on the npc once you brush past them checks if it's the player you can change this to be sort of another actor so you can see two npcs having a conversation with each other and then we trigger the brush past event brush the brush past event checks to see if we've got any dialogue and if not just display is no dialogue to display just as a bit of an error catching then we create the brush past widget we set it so that we can reuse it check that the person implementing the brush past widget has the widget component because the widget component is set inside the blueprint and we need that to be able to put it above their head this is defaulted to invisible not visible, invisible. And then 
we set that visibility to be true and we set the widget to be the new brush past widget. I want to bind to make sure that unfinished is doing something. So unfinished, if it is valid, then we unbind it so that we can reset it again. We check that the we get the component by class again. We set the widget to be empty. We set the new visibility to be not true. And I set the brush pass widget inside here to be empty as well. Inside brush pass, we do the same sort of thing. We get the text, we play the sound, we create the dialogue, but this one is always automatic. And when it gets to zero, we call on dialogue finished. And because we have that speak event, that's why we're checking if brush past is zero because we don't want to display a brush past text and the dialogue text as well. So we're at 750. Well, we've passed 750 now. And the next one will be 1000. I've got no idea what it is. I don't tend to have a plan. And so let me know. And I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for all the continued support. And I appreciate you. I appreciate the support and all the comments and the subs and everything like that. So it's been a crazy ride so far. And thank you very much.